The oceans are in trouble. For years now, we've been scouring them and scraping them for the seafood that we crave. And we can't squeeze any more blood out of that stone. We have to move towards more sustainable, responsible ways of getting the seafood that we all love to eat. So we're moving deeper and further offshore into open ocean mariculture, which offers tremendous potential. So that's what the Valella project is all about. It's about marrying together revolutionary technology that's going to allow us to grow fish literally with no footprint on the oceans in a drifter cage, a cage that is untethered, that's moving around in the eddies in the back of the big island. And we're going to marry that together with more responsible feeds, more sustainable proteins and oils, such as US soybeans, which provide us with soybean meal or soy protein concentrates, and also with soy oils, and with other agricultural proteins and oils as well, so that we can soften our footprint on the seas, and so that we can grow this industry in the way that we need to, to feed nine billion people with great tasting sashimi. So that's what the Valella Project is striving towards. It's tremendously exciting, and we're really pleased with the, the partnership that's come together to help us make this a reality. What we're doing with Valella is looking at having an unanchored cage moving around in the eddies in the back of the Big Island of Hawaii. As the equatorial current flows around the Big Island, it creates eddies in the back of the island, much in the same way that a stream will create eddies and little whirlpools in the back of a rock that sits in the middle of a stream. So the idea here is to have the unanchored pen with a tender vessel riding around in those eddies in the back of the Big Island, and instead of burning diesel to hold it in position, or instead of putting anchors down into water 12,000 feet deep, you just use the tender vessel to make tiny little course corrections or to move from one eddy to the next as one eddy drifts off and the next one forms. So this would be a pen that moves over the surface of the ocean, removed from the reef, so there's no possible interaction at all between the pristine coral reef here in Kona and the Valella project. It's out in the open ocean, it's in water 12,000 feet deep, it's great for the fish and it's great for the environment. Valella array consists of the Machias, this 65-foot steel-hulled schooner that's the tender vessel and it provides a communications link and the feed and the dive platform and the motorization for, for the array. And it's also then the net pen that actually contains the fish. This is a submersible pen that has brass mesh. This eliminates biofouling on the mesh and so reduces the drag and improves the water flow through the cage there, reduces the requirement for cleaning of the pen. We launched the pen initially from Kauai High Harbour up on the northern end of the Big Island. We were able to then stock the pen with the 2,000 fish. The fingerlings came from the hatchery here at the Natural Energy Lab of Kona, where we have produced the Kona Kampachi fingerlings. It's a native species here in Hawaii, but we've successfully stocked the fish in the pens now. They're feeding really well, they're looking really well. The growth looks great. We're really excited about what this portends not just for this one research project, but for growth in this industry and for developing a technology that will allow us to feed the world with sustainable, delicious sashimi. These fingerlings that we stocked in the pens were raised from native brood stock, native to the Kona coast here, uh, and raised in the hatchery from egg. We control the diet of these fish all the way from hatch all the way through to harvest. We were able to take those fish from the hatchery there, load them into the blue totes of seawater, ensure that they've got the oxygen that they need, and then we truck them down to the harbour, then fork them over onto the big landing craft that we use for transporting the fingerlings, and then we ran out and we connected up with the Machias and the Aquapod, the Valella that had been running around through this eddy in the back of the Big Island, we were able to rendezvous with them and then transfer the fish into the pen. We did that by scooping the fish out of the totes, pouring them into a mixing bowl where they're mixed with water and then pushed down a pipe into the aquapod, in, into the pen. So we've now successfully stocked the aquapod with 2,000 Seriola Rivoliana, which is the Latin name for the Kona Campachi. And so this is tremendously exciting now to be embarking on this great adventure. This Valella technology has the potential to revolutionise 
responsible, sustainable mariculture, production of great tasting marine fish in a way that has minimal impact on the marine environment. And that will allow us to expand production and to meet the needs of a growing planet with negligible environmental footprint and with having minimal impact on the ocean that we all love.